playing a better first half? What was going on with that first half? <laughs> Man, we just told ourselves, uh, we pumped ourselves up before the game even started. You know, just told ourselves, uh, let's just go in the game with the same intensity we had in Arizona. You know, we won off of defense in Arizona, which led to easy offense for us. And, you know, you saw the result tonight, came out and got us a big 20-some point lead. And, you know, they made a run in the second half, but, you know, that lead, that lead was too big for them to come back. So, you know, you just got to give effort to a great team, defense effort tonight. Uh, David, it looked like uh, in particular you and Richard were playing with an awful lot of confidence. Can you talk about that? Um, Richard and I have always been on each other. Um, I mean, early in the season, it, our, we didn't come out with a great energy, even as a team, but Rich and I kind of talked to each other and we were like, you know, it start, really starts with us because if we get the rebounds, if we play hard, then the team's going to be able to get out and start running. And that's when everybody starts getting like fired up because once the team gets some energy. And so every game we come in with them, we're starting to come in with the mentality that, you know, it starts with us. We got to bring the energy and the intensity. And so I think we really did that today. Alan, uh, you did a really good job tonight finding your, the screeners when you were coming off girls, you and Justin, and they've got a lot of, I thought David and Richard a lot of these. Uh, we knew that. That's the thing with UCLA. They're not gonna, you know, let me just come off a curl and just see the see the lane. So you know, the big shows up, and when he shows up aggressively, I got Dave and Richard wide open, which led to easy baskets. And I'm just glad that they finished them tonight. You know, they went up aggressive, and you know, I'm just glad. You know, the bigs. Look at that, eight for ten, eight for eleven. You can't ask for a better night from both of them. So you just got to give them credit for finishing and just getting all them boards for us. Were uh, Richard and. Uh Justin just cramping up at the end? Probably so. It's nothing serious. It's probably yeah, cramps. Have just... ejectomies tomorrow or anything? <laughs> nah, nothing. Every, everybody should be fine. Did, Alan, did uh, intensity alone account for that uh, for that first half, or was there something else going on other than just being intense? Uh, as a team or? Just, yeah, as a team. I mean, oh, yeah. What? I mean, like I, like I said, uh, just feel like uh, our team intensity was just great. And it was just fun, though. Like, you know, when you're beating a team like that and everybody is involved in playing great team defense and everybody's on, on the offensive end is just scoring. I mean, everybody's just happy. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody's confident. And it just it just makes you want to play harder because you just want to build on the lead and just keep having fun with your team. And so I just feel like that was the biggest thing, you know, after we, you know, after UCLA kept calling timeouts, we just kept telling each other in the huddle, like, I mean, this is fun, but, you know, we can't get too excited. We just got to keep, you know, keep stepping on the gas. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the team we should have been all season. Yeah. This is the team we can be. Definitely. You guys talked a little bit about Justin's game. It seemed like he was really patient tonight. And this one. Yeah. I mean, Justin. Justin's a he's a great player. I mean, he's quicker than just about everybody, and he's really strong. So I mean, he he can get wherever he needs to on the court, and so he really opens up a lot of opportunities for not only the bigs, but I mean for like Allen, Tyrone, all the, all the wings. I mean, he really opens up a lot of opportunities. And then, I mean, he can he can do it all as evident. I mean, he had, what, eight rebounds? He had, oh, he had five rebounds, nine, nine assists, and 12 points. I mean, it's obvious he could score. He's shown that all season. And I mean, nine assists and uh, what, one turnover. I mean, great, great point guard, great game. Alan, can you talk about uh, what the team's ceiling is at this point? I mean, you beat the top three teams in the league now. We just pretty confident, you know. We just got to go into every game though and just take it as serious. Like it doesn't matter where they are in the conference standings if they're first or last. We just got to go out there, just play cow basketball, and we're all clicking on the same page. It's just, we, we feel as a team we're unstoppable, and we feel we can play with anybody in this conference. So our goal as a team is just to keep getting better every day. You know, build our team chemistry every day, and just keep getting better each and every day. There was a time just a few weeks ago, I'm assuming you didn't feel like. You were unstoppable as a team, though, probably, right? Well, I mean, I guess you can just say, you know, early bumps in the road in the conference, I guess. I mean, you know, teams are not always going to be perfect every night, but I just feel like, you, you feel know. feel different as a group now? Yeah, probably so. I feel like everybody's more on the same page now. Everybody's, you know, trusting each other, you know, to make plays more. And uh, team intensity. I just really feel like our team intensity is what starts it all. If everybody's on the same page ready to go out there, I really feel like we can really – I mean, we showed it tonight, and we proved, we probably proved to people that you know, you know, when we get it rolling, we can, you know, we can do some things. So, 
Was it exciting to do this on an ESPN2 game with a lot Def of country watching? Definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, though, you know, we just want to focus on getting as many wins in the conference as we can, and that's what we're doing, so. It's fair to say that either one of you that uh, maybe you, you turned a corner as a team uh, with the win at Arizona. That, that sort of told you what, what kind of team you can be. Um, yeah, I think at Arizona, but I also think when we beat Oregon, I think that really, that game showed us how we had to play. And even the second half of Arizona, or Oregon State really showed us how we had to play. And so then we took that and we beat Oregon. And then we went to ASU and we kind of uh, backed off. And so we lost. I mean, that really showed us we got to play hard as a team every game, every minute. And so we can't come out soft and can't come out without energy. And so. I really think everybody's noticed that, and the team is really, you know, fired up and really behind each other to get everybody fired up and playing for the game. David, yeah, you expect USC on Sunday to be a different team than when you saw them uh, last month? Yes, sir. What do you expect out of them? Um, I mean, they they got the same record in conference as we have. I mean, I feel like people don't really, I don't know if people aren't noticing them, but I mean, any team in this conference can beat any team, and so. I mean, we got we got going with to that game with the same intensity we took into Oregon, into Arizona. We every team's beatable and every team can beat you. What did um, Coach Montgomery have to say to happen? Uh, he just told us uh, just expect expect them to come up uh, aggressive. You know, we knew that they weren't just going to play like that the whole game and. Uh, we knew that their, uh, you know, key players were going to try to make plays for their team. So, I mean, it showed in the beginning. You know, we really, I feel like as a team, we probably let that big lead kind of take, you know, the intensity. And that's what we're trying to, you know, tell each other in the locker room, just we got to keep it up. But we let it slip a little bit. But, you know, like I said, the lead was pretty big. And, you know, we made some plays and, you know, got some stops. So, I think it really helped us out. Was it hard to believe at one point in the first half when everything was or you just no. feel like this is what you can do? Not at all. I mean, like I said, I mean, like when we're playing like this as a team and our confidence is up, I really feel like, you know, we can really do some things. And, I, you know, that's, this is what we should have been expecting of ourselves. We should have been holding each other more accountable a lot earlier in the season, you know, when we're losing games at home and stuff. So uh, I just really feel like, you know, we're just clicking as a team right now. I mean, you can't really say much more. Just keep getting better each and every day.